Hey you guys, Rebecca here, and um, out in the watershed. Don't be uh, alarmed by the dark screen, there's a point to that, and um, pretty, it's late, you know. Uh, I'm um, in my refuge place along the creek, and um, there's some big oaks surrounding me, some palmettos, um, might hear the insects, and uh, since we had so much rain today, there's dripping water off the trees. And it's the evening of the 4-4 um, portal tonight, and I've been just out for quite a while. Um, this is kind of what I do. I come out at night in the dark, and it's where the, um, the unseen world comes alive for me. Um, one of my favorite pastimes <laughs> out here. And I'm never disturbed out here. Nobody comes out here um, after dark. Or really in the daytime, so it's my domicile. Oh, so I was just reflecting on, um, well, this portal and this period of what we're calling a pandemic um, and what we're all going through as a human family. And on this day, particularly, where shadows um, from the collective, you know, uh, planetarily and personally, we've got a lot of shadow material rising into light, into, um, you know, place where it can be cleared and healed. In contemplating um, what is our calling, you know, I've been asking my guides about skillful action during this time, and the thing I get over and over, and I know this intuitively um, myself, and it's how I've been responding, was it's actually in going deeper inside. So before you, you see nothing but darkness, and that is the space of your own infinite mind, your consciousness, and its full connection with the cosmos, the infinite mind. And so, one of the things with all of our, um, perhaps moving beyond polarity, beyond all the confusion and hope hysteria right now about who's right and who's wrong and who's good, good guys and who's bad guys and what's going to happen and how are the cards going to fall in all of this. Um, the eternal calling is really on for us now to work inside of ourselves. Work inside of ourselves. Developing ourselves so we're fully ready to receive all the light that we are, all the light that we can bear, all the awakeness we can stand. I think that's really the calling now. It's not to say that there's nothing else to do when you turn off everything and ignore it. Give but you know what happens. You turn on inside. Finding out more information externally is causing a lot of <laughs> confusion rather than clear communication. The clear communication can be found inside. This is why we ask you to develop your minds, develop your hearts. Oh, and this is such a portal, like whatever we're doing right now, wherever we're aligned, like if I'm trapped in fear or, you know, uh, whatever, whatever's going on. I've been doing a lot of visualization for my own personal life right now, um, visioning, working with the co-creative universe, and also, of course, for this planet right now. So however we're aligned, our, uh, the, the, the support we have to, to um, amplify that energy is huge. Like, I cannot underscore that enough with red pen. Huge. So whatever's going on for us is going to be very, very amplified. I mean, we're attracting more of what we're, whatever we're vibing with, in other words. So that's part of what this portal feels like to me. So you, this is a portal too in which you can um, hear more of that deep intuitive um, voice of your own, your higher self. Uh, that unseen realm, the other world as I call it, capital O, begins to speak more loud and clear and you are gathering instead of perhaps so much information and 
uh, dissonant information online, which, you know, we want to do our research and do our homework and, and listen to others, but also make sure you're listening to yourself, using your discernment, and really resting. Again, we can't underscore enough either, this too in a red pen, to be within now. That is the most skillful action you can take now. Mm. So again, you know, the infinite consciousness <laughs> represented by the dark screen and what do you actually see in the darkness inside, which is pure light, pure bright, pure heart, the essence of your soul. It also, oh, so the darkness also represents a pregnant portal. When you're in a place where you're not sure what's going to happen next, you've left behind something you knew, everything you knew perhaps. You stand before something you don't know. What does that feel like? Is it like being in the womb? Or something else? Something you fear? Which leads me to another point. The, again, beyond uh, the confusion and hysteria, <laughs> the calm abiding, the development of one's inner self so that we you know, as, as my teachers over so many years and my own uh, practice have taught me, the essence of calm abiding and the ability to be like one of these big oak trees in the storm, um, lashed by wind and water and lightning and thunder. But there you are, relaxed in the middle of it, actually from a place of great equanimity, where that essence of your consciousness at its most clear. There's almost a sense of uh, letting go of the attachment to outcome, even though we are all attached to the outcome of light, of course, of course, with things going right for humanity after all this time of darkness. Um, and opening up that, that new world for us, uh, the, the world of the illuminated heart, raising the vibration of the whole planet, of course, why wouldn't you be attached to that? But yet at the same time, there's this relaxation in the middle of the storm, where you can rest inside, not going this way or that, grabbing this, pushing that away, just resting within with a small smile, on your face, knowing you can withstand as humanity always has the trials and tribulations and also all that light. Of course you're ready for this, of course, but listen for that voice inside that shows you just what to do and what you know to come home and come true. This is vital at this time. Oh, and instead of viewing a prophetic three days of darkness as something negative, what would it be like to just rest within the silence of your own mind, no longer fearing what you would find? It's everything there. It's without judgment. Nothing but divine. We would ask you to find the light inside of yourself tonight and all, all nights and to see that reflected in everyone around you becoming clear and bright. Remember inside the darkness there is pure light. So broadcasting tonight um, from my galactic uh, Andromedan self and my galactic family here in this um, beautiful woodland and with some uh, Davic energies dancing around my feet. <laughs> okay, good night you guys.